Right, shall we start out by designing our car? Because I left things yesterday and the ATR period starts. Huzzah! I feel like we need to look at the anal assist here. Sorry, analysis. I don't know why I did that. That was funnier in my head. Rank on the grid. We, now, we can't develop powertrain. Chassis. If we ignore the cooling, chassis good. Front wing. <laughs> official terminology. Rear wing. Really. <laughs> Side pods. <laughs> Underfloor. Good. Suspension. Bad. Right. Um, hmm. I think for top speed, rear wing is the thing to develop in it. I feel like I should get free parts on the go here. I mean, the good news is financially, our finances are really bloody good this year. Finance is no longer the problem they once were for us, which is nice. The question becomes, in terms of rear wing, what do I want? Oh, I really want more top speed than that. Um, I mean, acceleration improvements are nice. Our rear wing is really, really bad. Hmm... Now, I do have a dilemma here, actually. Do I start researching? Or do I keep designing? Because we've got 20 races this season, chat. 20 races. This is now race number eight. So we're almost halfway through the year. Silverstone, Spa, Monza, Baku. There's loads of high-speed circuits at the end of the year. Do I design a rear wing? Do I, do I design a rear wing intensely and then research with everything else? Is that the play? Do I target those high-speed race tracks? Because I don't think we're going to win the championship this year. I hate to say it. Winning the championship this year, probably off the cards. You know, I don't want to be defeatist here, but it ain't looking good, Brev. If we get a rear wing sorted and I can put six people on it here, and I do it in tents, be done for June. I feel like I do an intense development here on the rear wing, and then I, uh, and then I just research... Is that controversial to be a researcher? I know it's boring and it's not going to bring us some, like immediate results, but I don't think I can win the championship this year. And I think if I go all in, if I go all in on... I kind of just want to go balanced as well. If I go all in on trying to design a car for this year, I probably don't win the championship and start off in a bad spot next year. I feel like this is, this is just the most sensible thing to do. We're not optimizing it for cooling, though. Screw that. We'll just go balanced for the for the research. One engineer is always better for research as well. I could have I could have researched another part. I realized. What well, if you just research something with no time on it? You do actually gain something, but it's definitely not worth the million pounds, is it? You know what, chat? I'm happy with that. Let's get a new rear wing in for the end of the year. Probably two specs of rear wing and research alongside that. We'll just try and get a little bit of rear wing benefit for the high-speed circuits, especially Monza, Baku, Jeddah at the end of the year. They're free we can target with the final upgrade. But besides that, I think we have to be sensible this year. I have not given award any practices this year. Isabella's getting all the practices. Is that stupid? Maybe, but I back her. I back her. Any meat from Brazil, Jack? Okay, last time I had Brazilian all-you-can-eat barbecue chat, I blocked a toilet. It's the only time in my life I've ever blocked a toilet. As Wox pointed out, chat, for people who haven't heard the story, I don't think I've told it on stream. It wasn't, I said it wasn't my toilet that got blocked. It was Wok's old toilet before we moved in together that got blocked. But it's okay, guys, because, because I did the really manly thing of panning at King and letting her unblock the toilet. And that's when I knew she was the one. If she could put her with me at my lowest when I blocked a toilet and panicked. I'd never blocked a toilet before, chat. She looked experienced in dealing with blocked toilets. Yeah, I don't want to pass judgment, but... It, just, just saying. Oh, do I go out early? I think I do. Brazil, blocking at Brazil isn't too bad. Also, how good does the car look, chat? How good does the car look? It just looks nice. Does anyone else just feel happy? There's a little Easter egg chat with this car. Do you see here, Monsoon? You can't see it by my head. Let me just say my head. Do you see Monsoon Valley here? That is a Taiwan company that sp sponsor Alex Albon. And we ride with that in our car to remind ourselves of the goat himself who's no longer part of this team. There'll always be a part of Alex Albon in our team, and it's the sponsors that he brought to the team in our time of need. So, uh, hashtag thank you, Alex. Now, some circuits, you know what, POV view, I've not used this in a while. In some circuits, the pit exit, like, blocks the racing line. Brazil is one where it's actually very, very kind. Oh, my God, this camera makes me feel so ill. 
Are we going to clear Piastri? Oh, that was us there. And that means that Antonelli's cleared it too. Okay, this is a one and done kind of deal, chat. Am I going to do the whole app like this? Absolutely not. It hurts my face. Uh, award Purple Sector 1. He is only 15 thousandths faster. If the gaps kind of remain the same here, Award's going to cross the line first, and Antonelli's going to be like a tenth behind. And I think we're going to be fine. Right. Boom. 18013. Okay, 15 thousandths in it. That was a purple sector for Antonelli, by the way. Really, really good funnel set. It's almost made up the time he'd lost. McLaren are too quick. McLaren are too quick. We're good for this session now. I'm not going to go out again. Oh, Signs has crashed. Red flag? Signs had a stinky quality in China as well, didn't he? Oh, he got blocked. Now, did he hit the wall there? Yeah, I sorry. He's sorry. He, did, he has admitted that he crashed. Shame he didn't take out the McLaren, innit? Shame he couldn't just punt the McLaren in the arse. We set good times early. We're done. Um, I mean, it's ourselves, McLaren, Red Bull. Peshe with a good showing early on for the Haas. Maloney out in the other Haas. Q2. Let's get it. Let's do it. How's Pum Kimmy doing? Kimmy's doing good. All right. I ward got the toe last time. Wait, chat, did I just send that out on fresh tires? I forgot to change the tires. I'd never do this normally. I usually save this fresh set for later on in the session. I mean, if we can set a clean time, maybe it's fine. It kind of worked last session. I know it's a bit of a boring watch. Right, Antonelli, that's faster than last session, right? That's faster. Our drivers are still very, very close. I mean, both our drivers have an 85 rating. And rating is definitely not the be-all or end-all in this game. But it does feel like they're pretty consistent. Can I get away with just doing that one time? I think I can. I think I can. If I see anyone other than McLaren and Red Bull go faster than I would, then I panic. Verstappen's got blocked that lap. Alonso and Piastri still look like the team to beat. The, the McLaren is a rocket ship. I would love Red Bull to have another awful weekend. Okay, Russell's knocked down award. I think i got to go out again right at the end of this session. I didn't want to do it, but I feel like it's probably better to be on track and be safe than be sorry. What I will say is everyone is coming out at different times here. This is going to get a bit messy. Don't know if we're going to be able to improve these times on used tyres. Aston Martin, I think, will improve here. They are a quick car. It's McLaren and Red Bull battling the championship. We're technically up there in third, but we have got so many, few, like so many fewer podiums and race wins than them. But our season has basically come down to consistently finishing like fourth to seventh, whereas they occasionally have bad weekends. Okay, drivers have not improved through the first sector. Sector two is very technical as well. Yeah. Okay. No improvements for Antonelli. I would did improve a little. Don't think he's quick enough to, or close enough to get a toe hair. We'll see. I mean, Antonelli's not going to improve here unless he has a monstrous final sector, which I just can't see being a thing. I want improves a tiny bit. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. I think a lot of people have actually finished their laps here, haven't they? Norris in lap. Verstappen. Verstappen's out. Verstappen is out. The one time I don't do a prediction involving Red Bull doing well. Seven. Hamilton is the last person, I think, to yeah, finish a flying that. lap really here. I say that. There's a few other people finishing theirs now. Lawson is, is pitting. Okay, well, that is a shocking performance for him. But Shara should improve. Can he improve enough? Hamilton at risk right now. Push, uh, yeah, Porsche looked quick as well here. Hamilton doesn't improve. Pacher ran on fresh tyres here. He's done two greens. Could he demote Leclerc out? A Ferrari going to be ousted out of Q3 yet again. Oh, my word. I mean, that is a weird-looking top ten. No Verstappen, no Hamilton, no Leclerc, no Norris. Pacher, animal. We'll also say, look how close that was. Half a second separating the top 10. Right, we're going to get out for an early lap here on used tyres. 
was going to say hope for no traffic. There is absolutely traffic going to be in the way here. Just a case of how much. So we will run at the end of this session a fresh set of softs. I'm trying to get a banker lap in. This traffic could be a problem. Who is that? Is that Teo? God, I want to be annoyed, but that Toyota Hass just looks nice. I want to be annoyed. Did he lose much time there? Uh, four temps. I mean, Pato, if Pato didn't get blocked, Pato's going to get an insane tow to the line here. So what was it before, chat? Was it a 108.8 was our previous best? I mean, Pato is getting the toe here. What time? It's not that good of a time. I mean, it, it looked quick, didn't it? But I think Anthony on his hard tyres was... Well, his hard tyres, his old tyres was struggling a little. Antonelli got blocked. We will go again. Antonelli is kind of close behind signs here. He's the driver that needs to improve. This gap might actually be okay to sign. So is this enough to get a tow without getting blocked at the end? Alonso's 107.5 is mad, by the way. I think we've had a 0.8. We need to find three temps. I will say now, I think Antonelli being behind signs could be massive. Jordan has redeemed a hydrate. Let's hydrate, uh, hydrate up. Oh, blocking. Please don't block. That's good. There's a yellow flag. Please, no red flag. Not now. We saw you spin. What do you mean you saw him spin? A Bottas spun. Award didn't spin. Award's innocent. Award got blocked there, by the way. He might be able to make it up. I think all eyes on Antonelli here. I don't think Award's going anywhere. Traffic at the end of the lap could be killer. I think it's going to be okay, because whoever is, I think it's Porsche is just starting his lap. Antonelli, not a great middle sector, but peak confidence. He is loving life. Is he going to love his final time here? No. No. That middle sector wasn't good, and then Sainz got a toe off the hat, which we couldn't keep up with. Award. Slower everywhere. That's not good. Had Jos Addison, Bottas has struggled. Pasha, don't hurt me, Teo. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Is that everyone done? <sighs> Sixth and seventh. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. That is... That's annoyed me. Because McLaren are bloody quick. And it means that whilst we start ahead of the likes of Verstappen and Hamilton, they're not a million miles away. I'm going to need Pasha, Bottas and Hadjar. To slow those guys down. I'm tempted to go with the one stop at chat. Antonelli's been a little bit of a tire whisperer this year. And it's quite fun doing the one stoppers with him. He's actually been making them work. And then I'm thinking with Pato, we get punchy. Soft, medium, soft. That's my plan. Antonelli's one stoppers have just been a joy to behold, you know? They're unorthodox. And the thing is, we can start on the mediums. And if it's not going to work, we just switch them on to two softs later. Look at that. Look how good it looks, chat. The creator team stuff of all the custom like decals does look quality, doesn't it? Also, what's happened to the lads? Finish painting the car! We could have go out in a second. Why are we not painting it? Where's it out? Finish the painting. Who will win? Let's bloody find out. Who's your money on chat? Porsche starting fourth is mad, by the way. Okay, so Antonelli is running mediums. Okay, there's so many people on mediums. Hmm. I mean, that could be good if I want to make the mediums last longer. Because even if people are in neutral usage, I should be fine. What I will say is Antonelli's going to need to get his running shoes on. I, I'll be honest, running shoes probably not that effective. Don't fight your teammate, please, Kimmy. Running shoes, probably not that effective in an F1 race. But he needs to get those running shoes on and then go a bit pedal faster. There's a yellow flag. There's a yellow flag. We saw you spin. What do you mean? We've not spun. Well, fine. Hulkenberg spun. What happened to Hulkenberg? Wasn't he already at the back, chat? Oh, okay. He wasn't right at the back. I lost it. He did lose it. Can confirm. Right, so strategy talk here, chat. Antonelli, we plan to go long on the mediums. 
and go for the, the one-stopper. I think that is now more viable knowing other people are on the mediums to start too. As for Pato, he needs to try and make up some places. Then we're going to be pitting early, hoping for a bit of a gap when we're in our stint on the mediums. But I'm a bit worried the other teams are going to go medium, soft, soft and be lined up with Antonelli, which could make the one-stopper hard. All right, come on, O'Ward. Oh, with DRS, I know they've got DRS too. He should be making some moves here. He should be making some moves. He's going to get his first one done. Go on, son. Tire wear's not good immediately, but that's okay. We can live with it. Antonelli, mm, I don't want to lose time behind Russell, but I feel like Russell's not going to be that slow. I'm going to have to try and get ahead of everyone and then gun it, chat, I think, for this to work, and that is not easy. Also, battery's not in a great spot. Okay, that's another move. I'll tell you what, Owat's not slow, is he? I'm now saving my mediums. We can't really tell if we're saving well against those around us just yet. In a couple of laps, we'll have a better indicator. Bottas is already out of DRS on Russell. That is probably going to mean Russell comes back on us here. Carlos Sainz, please get out of the way. The rare sight of the Ford Red Bull being overtaken by the WTS racing car. Things you love to see, right? Pato, get aggressive here, son. Deploy out this corner because we're not going to have DRS to defend. Sainz is going to be hunting us down. And I need to try and keep the gap if I can. McLaren racing side by side for the lead of the race, by the way. That's a bit punchy. I really want to catch up to these guys, but I don't think I've got the means by which to do it. We'll try. We'll try. If I don't have DRS on these guys, Sides gets past me and I think I lose time. I think we're good. Issue now might be lack of battery, although Sides doesn't have DRS, which opens up a chance at Antonelli and Sonoda to get by. Sonoda is looking after his tyres as well as Antonelli right now. Hmm. What do I do, chat? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Chat, I wonder if I could do the one-stop with Pato. I actually don't think it's worth it, though. Pato has a chance to undercut on his mediums. The risk is going to be, as I steam past Piastri there by accident... The risk is going to be, if I'm doing the undercut on the mediums, everyone else is probably going to be going soft, soft for the next two stints. Uh, Piastri, mate, if you could come through here and then I'll overtake you back in the next DRS zone and we'll catch up with Alonso. That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, well, we've blocked him really well there, which probably means he'll just overtake me in this next DRS zone instead. What is the gap here? 23 seconds. It's not even a long pit stop. The nice thing about going for the one-stopper with Kimi is it really opens up the opportunity to go soft under a safety car. Kimi, by the way, has just flown past Yuki Tsunoda. I don't need to keep pushing him, I realise. That's on me. Apologies, Kimi. You can go back to saving your tyres now, son. Alonso is leaving Piastri. Thing is... Right now, Award is getting a really good amount of time out of these softs. Like, he's getting good performance out of them. Because I don't think we're that much quicker than the, Mercedes, uh, the McLaren anyway. But he's getting that time whilst charging the batteries and saving the tyres to make them last longer. The two-stopper strategy is like one at this circuit, which is really marginal without a safety car. And even with a safety car, if it's not a beneficial time, it can still make it marginal. Me getting this, like... If I can just make these tyres last to lap 25 instead of lap 22, it makes it a bit more comfortable. Okay, award <sighs> could have been pitting next lap. I'm going to go four laps longer with Pato, chat. I know these tyres are going to drop off a cliff a little bit. Mm, maybe I don't do four more laps. 23 seconds back from award is going to be ahead of Gasly behind Perez. I need to clear Perez. But there's a really juicy gap to get a ward into, actually, on those mediums. Going to do a couple of laps longer. There is, there's a juicy old gap that I'd like to come out in, and I can see, I can see it. Antonelli's track position right now. 
running fifth, but with these mediums we've really made last is such a cool spot to be in for him. He's actually in a world where I should probably not tell him to not fight with O'Ward. O'Ward might be better off conceding the place, which he might do here, and then I'll tell O'Ward not to fight teammate. If I tell O'Ward to do it here, is he going to move out the way smartly? Please tell me he's moved out the way smartly. Oh, okay, he has. Good job, Pato. We love that. Great swap. Right, Kimmy, just harvest through this sector. We want Pato in DRS, Kimmy. We need to help Pato. Saving Sergeant Pato or something. So plan of attack here. Pato follows o uh, Sorry, Pato follows Kimmy but doesn't overtake him. And basically acts as a block to protect him from the mean, mean Red Bull machine. Ah. Okay, that's not worked, admittedly. But we, we have tried. Or has it worked? You know what? Maybe it has. Maybe it has. Go on, Pato. That'll do. Right. Uh, next lap mediums. Great driving here by Pato. Great driving. Just holding up signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pitting this lap, Pato. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we love that. That's great. Clap him in. What a stint. We've got, we've got Antonelli two and a half seconds there. Out, absolutely nowhere. Right. Now the Ultras have to do their job. They've bloody done it. They've bloody done it. Now we come out ahead of Sergio Perez, I hope. And the strategy's good. It might be very close here, actually. I really need to come out ahead of Perez. Because there's Norris behind Perez. Perez is on hards. It's going to be so close here. Where are we? Where are they? No! Okay, it's okay. We can make that work. We're ahead of Hadjar. Shout out to Pato. Him going slow has compromised his track position, but it was absolutely necessary to give Antonelli a chance in life. Sometimes you got to do that, you know, chat. Sometimes you got to do something for the little guy. I mean, Norris has gone soft, soft here. Norris has already pitted, but he has cucked through these soft. He's probably going soft, soft, hard. Whereas Award is going to be going soft, medium, soft. Very important for us this stint now, just to make these mediums last. What would be mega is if I could get past Perez, maybe with DRS, and then just follow Norris for his stint. Uh, always defend is still on. Good spot, chat. All right, Perez on hards. Easy overtake. Now I just have to catch up enough to Norris. Ferrari are not quick, so I'm hoping I can get within a second of them and then just follow. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. I've got DRS out. I don't really need to get past him. Peak confidence for Pato. I feel like O'Ward's not going to be, like, sorry, Norris isn't going to be slow here. I feel like now is a good time just to chill out behind Norris. If we have to overtake him, we will, but let's just save some battery. If I get past him, I'll commit to going for him. Thing is, he's just going to come back past me here with DRS, isn't he? Are the fastest, man on track. fastest lap for Pato. 113.1. That is a second faster than Norris. See, Norris is just going to have DRS here, but mm, he's not getting it done. Okay, you know what, Pato? you got peak confidence. I'm backing you here to drop Norris. Let's, go flat out. let's burn some fuel. Burn for these medias a bit more than I want to. Let's just drop Lando. Sonoda is catching up with Antonelli a little bit, but... I don't know. We're in a really good situation when it comes to our battery and stuff. Yellow flag. Safety car now would be really bad. Someone's gone off. I mean, is it Kevin again? So has gone off. Kevin! Three times, Kevin! Oh, you absolute cockwomble. I'm, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Kevin Magnuson. It's not a red flag. Not yet. Not dropping Norris now, but that's fine. Okay, Antonelli pits. Uh, sorry, Piastri pits ahead of Antonelli. Bottas doesn't pit, neither does signs. That's, that's a gamble. Piastri, Verstappen pitting. 
Verstappen's not had a fun race so far. He's been stuck in traffic. Medium hards. So he's going medium hard soft. Piastri's put on hards as well. So Ward going to come out ahead of Piastri here. That is something to keep a close eye on here. They're going to be close. They're really close. Okay. Award got a crazy undercut on Piastri. A crazy undercut. And if my prediction is correct, Piastri's going on softs to the end when we'll be going on to softs to the end too. We could be working with them. Antonelli's actually pulling away from Sonoda. Signs and Bottas both rails they have to pit. Share pits too. By the way, just because someone was asking about the uh, Haas situation, you can see it. The Toyota Haas. I know we've not seen it much, but it, it is a thing. I will say it's a nice car. Just, just a shame that they're really slow this year, so we don't get to see them. Let's just watch them do a pit stop because it's fun. I've jinxed them there, haven't I, really? Oh, they are held up. Poor pit lane position. I can relate to that chat. I've got an idea, but it might not work. Is that a good or bad thing? I'll let you decide. What does the game think of that compared to what I'm currently on, which is this? It reckons it's four seconds quicker, but it's a lot of overtaking. Everyone's currently pitting for hards. I think I have to commit to the one stop. I'm changing the plan, chat. The, the traffic concerns me too much. I think this is a better strategy at this point. And I think it's a better strategy because no one else is going to be able to do it from here. One-stoppers have been fun this year, but every time we've done a one-stopper, teams claw back at us. And I think fully charged battery, two pretty decent sets of softs. Like, no one else has gone this long. Hamilton might try the soft-soft strategy, and I feel like I kind of have to cover him off. I think this strategy is better. I think it's purely better because we were going to get mudded by traffic on the pit stop. If I went for the hards, I was going to drop back so far that traffic's an issue. Looking to come out ahead of signs. It's going to be really close on exit. It's going to be really close on exit. Kimmy, where are we coming out? Ahead of signs? Yeah, okay. Way ahead of signs. Correct call. Really good spot, actually, for Kimmy here. We should absolutely cook Leclerc here. Cook him, boy. Okay. We're pod racing right now. The thrusters have been engaged. We're going to go quick. I can't believe Hamilton's not pitted. 32% worn hards. What are you doing, boy? Antonelli's just overtaken Verstappen. Didn't even see it happen. Fastest lap of the race, Kimi Antonelli. What is happening here? Oh, my word. There's a bat marker Toyota. Can we go? Oh, no, 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 no. And now Alonso's pulling away. Antonelli's by Norris. Antonelli is cooking. Is this the same back marker? Okay, right. Just a just little, little bit of chilling now. A little bit. Okay. No, you know what? Is that a back marker? No, it's Hadjar. It's Hadjar. Ignore me. I'm getting lost in the sauce. Lewis, move out of the way! Please, Lewis. I'm begging you, mate. Thank you. Okay. Hamilton has pitted. I just had to get past Hadjar. But is he going to get DRS off Magnussen here? Is this Kevin? Is this Kevin in front? There's a pink panther somewhere. One second now. Go, Kimmy, go. That'll do us, right. Don't want to overpush over here, but kind of need to a little bit. Who is this? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is Kevin. Kevin! Please, Kevin. Please. Kevin, I'm begging you, mate. Kevin, I'll invite you to my birthday party. I'll buy you a Cornetto next race weekend. Thank you, mate. Thank you. All right, now block Isaac for me. Although Isaac will get DRS off Kevin, which is annoying. Okay. With O'Ward's mediums, we can pit a couple. It actually reckons that is... Uh, it, doesn't, it says it's slower. It's not. A couple of laps later. Do we reckon they're going to the end? They put on hards on lap 30. They run 14 laps on them and run them down 
And there is 24 laps left. If they're trying it, it's mental and it's going to be slower, I think. But we, it won't be slower till the end. I will say the actual lap times the hard runners are putting in are not bad. Piastri and Alonso are just in a different world, aren't they? Right, so I've got to think, chat. Right now, lap-wise, gaining about a second a lap on these guys here. I ward less so. If I pit, I'm going to come out in four laps. Probably ahead of Pacher is the gap I'm aiming for. Thing is, if they're trying to make it work, while I've got clean air now, it might be worth saving tyres on both drivers. Pitting for the softs late, so I actually have a bit of scope to push the softs to get overtakes done. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, this is a horrible end to the race. I mean, Antonelli is quicker. I'm going to have to tell O'Ward not to fight his teammate. The thing is, I think... Hmm. What do I think? I don't even know what I think anymore. I think with O'Ward, I just try and top up and hang out behind Kimmy. Even though I know that's going to be difficult. All right, Ultras. Kind of need you to be good to hit. I think our strategy's quicker still, chat. I think our strategy's quicker still. I'm not sure if I want to pit Antony this lap or next lap. I think this lap. Right, Ultras, give me a good stop. We've got two to do in a lap here. That is mega. That'll do us. Right, Kimmy, in you come. I've been inspired by that so much, I'm putting full faith in them. Okay, we're going to come out. How spread out are these guys? Mm, there's a bit of a gap. Fastest pit stop of the day. That is big. So we're now going to do 18 laps on the softs. People did 20 laps on them for their opening stints. So that's okay. Right, I'm trusting you to cook, Pato Award. I'm trusting you to cook. You are in the pits, agreed. Right, track temps are so hot, I don't really need to push these tyres to heat them up. They're just going to get warm anyway. Kimmy, Ultras, work together in harmony. I need another 1.8. It's not a 1.8, it'll do. It will do. That one-tenth might be the difference between Kimmy and Award. Second fastest pit stop of the day. Back to back fastest pit stops a lap apart. Things you love to see. Right. Award and Antonelli are next to each other. Do I tell them to race? Chat, I don't want to give them instructions, but I don't want them to mud each other's strategies. What was the lap time of Award? 131. Oh, that's the pit stop time. I need I need this next lap to count. I feel like we've caught up to the back of Bashir very quickly. Is what I will say. I don't think these tyres need to be pushed to get the overtake done. I've not got don't fight team mail them. Right, we let, we let them work together. I kind of don't want to pass Bashir yet. I want both of them to pass on the same straight. All right, Kimmy, come on, Kimmy. It's time to cook. Oh, my word. Oh, Ward's there, too. Are they about to go side? Sorry, what is this, lads? It's like a scene out of Pissing Disney. They've swarmed together. They're they've just double-teamed a man. Bashir doesn't know what's happened. He rolled up in the alleyway, and he's been mugged. Well, I think while well, Kimmy's behind here, I tell him to top up. Is that stupid? Kimmy has the fresher tyres, but it's literally a few percent in it. We're we'll catch up to Lewis Hamilton next. Right, what was Award's time now? One twelve. Two seconds a lap quicker. I need to make up 16 seconds in 15 laps. The maths checks out. Obviously, that dealt that difference of two seconds is gonna shrink every lap, sadly. I don't think this is gonna be a two for one here. Actually, not passing Lewis here is a better strategy. Two for one, lads. Two for one. Two for one. You buy one overtake, you get two free. I said you buy an overtake, 
we're not we're not gonna both get it here, are we? I've got carried away. Oh, oh hold! Kimmy, get him. Do him, Kimmy. Burn him. I don't really want to deploy through this. This middle sector's awkward to get an overtake done. I don't think it's worth wasting. Focus on consistency. I'm doing very good, Smog Father. You join us at an intense moment here. I kind of need to keep pushing with O'Ward to make sure Hamilton doesn't have DRS on us. Okay, that's good. Kimmy uh, uh, is going to get the move almost certainly done here on Hamilton. Don't really want to use the ERS too soon in this push because I might need it later. That's one overtake. Can O'Ward follow suit? You know what? Not getting him there is not bad. That's all right. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I'm not calling him a donkey, just to be clear. I'll tell you what. Oh, my word. The Merc needs to get out the way. Award wants to get the move done. This is where we lose time, chat. If I don't clear them in the DRS zone, this middle bit is just pain. I think I go harvest with both drivers here. We should be able to stick up right behind the gearbox, not waste any ERS trying to fail to overtake. Like, you use a lot of ERS out of these corners. Michael, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Also, Lou Hart, Lou Hart, I missed your sub 25 minutes ago. Monthly dropping to do my prime sub. Can't wait to see this on YouTube. Har Ed Har Editor Harrison, keep this in the video. Lou Hart, I don't forget the people who support. Thank you, mate. I mean, I did forget you, just to be clear. But hopefully you've seen this in the video. Right, let's get this overtake done. Are we going to go for the swarm tactic again? Now, the issue here is now going to be the fact that O'Ward is given Russell DRS. Tire wear is as predicted, chat, even though the temps are high. We're good. Clean air will help. Clean air will help. Right, we're good. We're golden. We've got Bottas up next, and then Carlos Sainz is just ahead. Is this a random bat marker? Is this Mick Schumacher? It's Mick Schumacher! Mick! Mick, you're going to give me DRS. Don't... Mick, just hug it behind him and give me the... D no, Mick! Stay behind him! Oh, Mick, you are a dickhead. I mean, free DRS, anyone? Take I think Antonelli will get it. Award's got DRS. Does Antonelli get it? Oh, Mick! Mick! It's okay, I forgive him. All right, time to get this overtake done, please. I mean, you can't argue chat against me providing entertaining racing with the boys here. I'm still shocked that they're all going for the one-stopper on the hards, to be honest. My world's already right behind signs. I kind of need to clear signs. Clear signs, then call the tyres with both drivers. That is a premature overtake there by Antonelli. Antonelli won't have DRS here to, um, to hold back. Oh, my word. Oh, Ward is going for it. Starting to see signs of some overheating. I know. The overheating's a problem. I'll admit it. Right, I need to stay on to ploy here with O'Ward. We're not going to drop signs out of DRS, but I don't want him to catch up. Gap Long gap here for Antonelli to make up. Especially because I think Sainz has DRS. All right, Kimmy, get this done early, please. So Kimmy is cooking. Manage, Esse essential sound effects, by the way. You are the fastest, man on track. fastest lap of the race, by the way. Award. He was conserving for the latter half of that. That's wild. Right, Kimmy, get this overtake done, then you can chill too on your tyres. Please, Kimmy, please. Just to play out this corner to make sure we get the move done. Good lad. Good lad. There we go. Now we relax. And Max and Yuki battling. They are a little bit. I mean, Verstappen's tyres are not good. 
And we're still gaining on them here whilst just conserving the tyres. This traffic is mental. He's brought a ward close to them. Way quicker than I thought he'd be. Get a DRS off the bat marker as well. I'll tell you what, they must be cursing the bat marker. We've got Bortoletto and Gasly fighting for 17th and 18th. What are they doing? Get out of the way, lads. Thank you. All right, here is Gasly. He thinks he's quick. He's on a new set of odds. Get out of the way, son. Thank you. Antonelli's still got to clear these jokers. That's going to be annoying. How is it? What is my best approach to deal with these two, chat? I guess try and get past them one after the other in sequence. I don't really want to pass them both on this start finish. Don't think I need to tweak the tyre usage here. Thing is, I don't want to get ahead of these guys and then have them... Oh, that's a massive overtake before DRS is even active. I don't really want to get past them and then give DRS to them because that's going to mud Antonelli. But I'll tell you what, getting after them one after the other here is exactly what's needed. This will do. This will do. Will it do? Will it do? It will do. It will do. Don't scratch your eyes because you won't be able to see and it'll be painful. Awards up to third. All right, Kimmy, time to cook, son. We're going to get the back-to-backs here, chat. I've seen it. I've seen a vision of the future. It's Kim Kimmy Antonelli getting one after the other here. He's going to get Verstappen in this DRS zone. He's going to get Verstappen in this DRS zone. He's going to get Verstappen... Try harder! He's going to get Max in this DRS zone. Kimmy, mate. Kimmy, mate. You're killing me. You're killing me. You're really causing me physical pain right now, Kimmy Antonelli. I don't want to be mean to you. Oh, there might be a gap here. Do you want to go around the outside? No? Okay, never mind. Back, back on Harvest we go. you got three laps to get this done soon. Verstappen's three seconds behind Sonoda. This is really bad. Max, can you get out of the way? Please, for the love of God, Kimmy. Why are you so far behind? I mean, we will just rein him in here with DRS. Kimmy, please. You've got so much charge. You could deploy for a whole lap if you want. Please, try your best. Do better, Kimmy. Kimmy, you're causing me pain. Okay. I can't push the tyres. <sighs> Alright, Yuki two seconds ahead. We can get him. We can get him. We should get him. By the way, Alonso going as fast as I would. Okay, Anthony sets the fastest lap there. That's what I get for deploying for the whole lap. Getting it done here means keeping our foot on it because we've got to get ahead, stay ahead during DRS. Last lap, overtake for fourth. Red Bull have had an annoyingly good recovery, haven't they, in this race? There's a yellow flag. Piastri's got damage. What happened? What happened? Has he got a puncture? What happened with Piastri? Is that a Kevin? Kevin! If only he'd got a puncture. If only he'd got a puncture. There's a lot of debris. I did not see any debris. Anyone else? No, me, you, you lot neither. Right, last couple of corners. Alonso's going to finish pole. I say pole. He, he fin he, did he qualify pole? I don't think he did. It was Magnussen as well. Was it Kevin's fault? Not, not Kevin's fault. Oh, what well, awards got further? What well, big news, though? Not Kevin's fault. Antonelli robs home for fourth. I think the change in strategy was the right decision. Good race. Very good. Fun race, actually, if I might say so. Imagine if Piastri had been given a time penalty. Didn't even think about that at the time. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? Good racing. We went motor racing. We had fun. Thank you, Brazil. Good night. Harrison, end the video there, Harrison.
Actually, don't. We didn't need to show the stuff. I thought I was Craig Charles on Robot Wars. Three places gained by both our drivers. Good strategy, chat. I'm gonna say it. Strategy was the correct call. Verstappen made up eight places. That's annoying, isn't it? Driver standings. Oh. Oh. Hello. Fernando Alonso for McLaren jumps ahead of Max Verstappen. Not a good day for Carlos Sainz. Antony's up to fifth. This is a fun three-way battle at the front. Constructors-wise. Oh. I mean, I'm a bit concerned that McLaren have built a rocket ship now. Well, I looked at this last race. Like, we've got one race win, four podiums, one fastest lap, three pole positions. You compare that to the guys above us. They've got better cars. They've just got better cars. But we consistently score points, and that's good. And we consistently do this. I believe that time there is the fastest pit stop possible in F1 Manager. That is the fastest pit stop possible. In F1 Manager, a 1799. I don't think it's physically possible to go quicker than that. Up the That deserves a short flute. Up the pissing Randeep. I think the soundboard broke chat. I tried to play the flute and it's not worked. Reg votes. Oh, what's this? Regulation changes help us continuously improve the sport on the benefit for the benefit of competitors and fans and our investors and our financial interests alike. Sorry, did I read something that wasn't there? Uh, <laughs> okay. Limiting the winter and CFD testing time to championship leaders. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't like this. So all the good teams get way less wind tunnel and CFD time, and all the shitters get more time. You want to make the sport better for the worst? I, I don't believe in artificial parity. I'll vote against this chat. Some people want everyone to be closer together, but the issue is I'm going to be inferred for next year. And the issue I'm going to have is, I already have a crap wind tunnel. It's already bad enough. I'm having less time in it. I'm voting against it. No, equality, not here. Hamilton is retiring. Oh, well, that's a thing. So that's another spot. If Hulkenberg's close to the way out, Hamilton's retiring. Clap him in, lads. Cl clap him in.